saw a thing on, and I tend to, you know, when I, when I watch content, especially on ESPN, um, daily content, it's still watching ESPN, like on TV, I tend to go on YouTube and I'll just like watch different clips they have up, they put up on their, on their, on their, uh, on their page, on the feed. And I saw this thing here where they had this game called Max Trade or Wave. Bas- basically, you you take three guys, and which guys you would you max out? Would you trade? Would you wave? So the three guys they had here on on here the list to to, to match it up was uh, they have LeBron James, they got Steph Curry, and Kevin Durant. So which which three guys? Which guy would you max? We get a max contract. Which guy would you trade? And which guy would, guy would you wave? The guy I would max is Steph Curry. And why? He's still in his prime. Now, granted, all three guys are still in their prime. Steph Curry is probably of the three guys, the guy who stays healthy the most. Probably has a longer, still has a longer uh, uh, prime now because of, uh, first, of all, first of all, shooting, for some starters. The team he's on, on top of that. And you're going to get a lot, of good, a lot of good years out of Steph Curry from this point on. Steph Curry is the guy I would max in the three guys. The guy I would trade would be LeBron James. Well, the guys I would trade actually would be... Ooh, this is tough. I said LeBron James, but... I feel like I can get more for Kevin Durant at this point than LeBron James. So I would trade Kevin Durant because if you can get four ones that, that, that Phoenix got, that Phoenix had to give up to get him for Brooklyn got for Kevin Durant, Durant's also four years younger. And look, I'm a LeBron guy for the record. We don't, we don't, we don't talk about all time. Talk about right now in 2023. I would trade Kevin Durant because I feel like I can get more on the open market for him than I could for LeBron James. I wave LeBron James, obviously. Now, if we talk about all time, it's a different story. Okay, I'm maxing LeBron James, obviously. Okay, that's that. That's the, the different conversation. Um, but in 2023, LeBron age 38, Kevin Durant age 34, I believe. Um, Steph Curry, age 34. I would max out Steph Curry. I would trade uh, Kevin Durant based on the value. And I would wave LeBron James. Of course, I, I'm going to say this, and I got a bunch of LeBron James fans in my mention saying, What are you doing? I, 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 We're not talking about LeBron all time. If we did this as an all time thing, obviously, I would obviously max LeBron James. I, max LeBron James. I would trade. Steph Curry because of the value I can get back for him and Kevin Durant because of the injuries and whatnot. Eh, that's tough though. You're talking about three guys. Three guys who have a, a case to be tough. Well, first of all, one guy in my opinion is number two on my all-time list. The other guy is number 10 on my all-time list and Kevin Durant, depending on how his career ends, could be inching close to that top 10 conversation um, in the years to come. So, again, I would max Steph Curry. I would trade Kevin Durant because of the value and I would waive LeBron James. Because of the age. And he's your year anyway. So...